other days. You know, you just don't get the people. We tried it one year, and you just don't get the people every night. Uh, has there been any big movies this summer? Oh, yes. Shrek 2. We got Spider-Man 2 starting tonight. Any big films, though, this year? Shrek 2, especially. We had to hold that over because we were just swamped with that. We did hold it over a second week. And it looks like uh, you got uh, Spider-Man 2. Uh, we're going to hold that one over, too. It's already scheduled to be held over next week as a second show. We show two shows every night. I mean, you know, but we, we don't show any R-rated movies. We strictly have family movies. PG-13 is as far as we go. We won't show an R-rated movie because there's too many families come out here week after week. I mean, the same families. So we strictly cater to family shows. drive-in, but it's even cooler to actually go to a drive-in theater, and our first night was spent at the High Road Drive-In in Kenton, and we're talking with uh, Rodney Miller. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Okay, so how long have you uh, uh, owned the place? This is my fifth year of ownership. Okay, so uh, tell us uh, what's... Uh what the shindig is with its history and uh, where you came into it? Well, the, the drive-in, actually, the high road drive-in actually opened in the 1940s and uh, was a very popular drive-in for a, a number of years. Unfortunately, it went through a period of decline, especially like the last uh, 15, 20 years, and really got run down and uh, really kind of let go. So the last five years that we've had it, I've been working on fixing, fixing it up and bringing it back up to proper standards. Well, it's a lot of fun for us. It's the first time in about 20 years since we've been to a drive-in theater, and we've lived in the community for seven years, and we've been trying to find excuses to come here, and so I had family visiting, and we were trying to decide what would be fun to do, and so we thought we'd come to the drive-in theater because that's something that none of us have done for a very long time. For me, it's kind of uh, especially fun because I used to be a projectionist in high school, and one of the things that I used to do was work at both a drive-in theater in southern Indiana and a, an indoor movie theater. The drive-in theater was the funnest, of course, but I can see things have changed because obviously we did not have radio transmission for your speakers. You had the little speakers mounted on the side, and I remember people used to drive off and rip them off all the time, and one of my jobs as a projectionist, of course, was to reinstall them. And the carbon arc projector they don't use those anymore, and I was just checking that out. And they have a big xenon lamp, single projector with uh, two movies on one platter, all spliced together. So they don't even need a projectionist anymore. It's almost like it's not a job. But we're looking forward to the two movies and uh, eating our popcorn and drinking our cokes and having a good time. This is my first time at a drive-in. <laughs> I've been here a couple different times. I love this place. And uh, what can you say about the audiences that uh, come to your drive-in? Oh, we get a wide wide range a lot of good people uh, a lot of families young kids a lot of young married couples with babies they like coming because the baby if the baby starts crying you know it doesn't interfere with anything uh, this year especially I've noticed a lot of older couples couples that uh, were probably teenagers back in the 40s and 50s are coming in now and uh, it's kind of fun one of the things that we noticed was your beautiful playground. I know with uh, liability insurance and stuff, a lot of uh, drive-ins have uh, stopped this. Uh, what is different about the high road as opposed to the places that have just uh, not wanted to deal with it and uh, taken those uh, uh, play things out? Basically, the, the playground equipment has been here since the drive-in opened, and it is well-maintained, and my insurance company said they don't have a problem with it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like this. Uh, we come out here about every other weekend whenever it's open during the summer. We love it. It's close to home. Um, sit in the car. We can bring the dog if we want. Um, you know, we got a lot of time and a lot of movies to watch, and we have a good time coming out here and eat a lot of popcorn and drink pop and socialize with the family, and we have a good time. I 
love going to the movie. Me too. That's why I like coming out here. There's not too many of these drive-ins left. And uh, so, you know, you should get out and enjoy them while you can because, you know, they close them every day. They run out of money and they close down and get a whole car load in. You have a good time. You get to be able to talk and be goofy in your car and not bothering anybody else that's next to you because they got their windows rolled up. And so, you know, I enjoy coming out here. What have been the big movies this year? Right now, the biggest one that we've had out here is actually Spider-Man 2, which is what we're showing this weekend with uh, iRobot. As we drove into your drive-in, we were mesmerized by the beautiful high road sign and the lights. And you say that there's actually part of this marquee that isn't working, and or what? I mean, we were so mesmerized that we didn't even know what movie we were gonna see. <laughs> Both of us, I mean, I said, what movies are playing? We don't know, because we really thought that this was a really beautiful marquee. What's wrong with it? Well, actually, uh, there is some neon that's not working, and my neon guy was supposed to be in here this week and, and fixed it. I had a transformer go out. One of the first things I had fixed five years ago was that marquee. I spent over $5,000 having it redone and have, replacing all the neon that was broken and all the chasing lights. One of the, I've been told it's one of the few Art Deco marquees still in existence. We like to come out here because we get to spend a lot of time together, me and my wife and my son. We have a good time watching the movies and, you know, it's something that just don't happen anymore much around nowadays. Everybody's always in a hurry getting around going places and it's good to get out on the weekend take some time and relax and watch a few movies and laugh it up you know and have a good time in the car with the kid and you know you can come out and eat popcorn and make a mess in your own car if you want to because uh, you're the one going to clean it up ain't nobody else's but uh, we enjoy coming out here because it's family time well we really enjoyed iRobot on your giant screen but you say that the screen used to be even bigger Yes, it did. Unfortunately, about uh, 30 years ago, the original screen came down, and the owner that time uh, put up this smaller screen, which is really only a 20 by 40. And I'm making, working on plans, hopefully next year we'll be able to do it, as to um, put, a, put up a screen back up to like close to the original size of what it was originally, which was probably... Ha I've had two different stories. I think it was a 50 by 90, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And what is it about drive-in theaters that uh, that is special uh, compared to the uh, indoor theaters? From the perspective of an owner, what do people get at the drive-in theater that they don't at the indoor? It's a lot more fun. Uh, you're outside, you've got a little bit more freedom, uh, a little bit more room to relax. Uh, you know, we have people come in with um, couches in the back of the pickup trucks to watch movies. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon to have uh, families come in with mattresses just in the back of the trucks so, so the whole family can sit out under the stars and watch a movie. It's, it's a unique experience. And so the high road drive-in will be around for uh, a long time, I would, I would think. Uh, I plan on it being around as long as I'm alive. Uh, tonight it was like uh, raining. Uh, I mean, it was... It, it, well, tonight you could, as we drove in, you could pretty much tell that it was going to rain again. And you had quite a few people here. What can you say about your patrons that actually ventured out knowing that it was going to rain? We have very loyal patrons. We have people that it really doesn't matter what we're showing. They're going to be here every week regardless. They know we show whether it rains or not. And they come out and they're prepared for it. And they're here. And we're here for them. And now it's time for driving trivia. I'm starting to wonder about you guys. <laughs> Back in 1956, the Auto View Drive-In Theater opened in Sydney, Ohio. When the original owner decided to retire in 1987, it was purchased by the Rees family, who still run it today. Unfortunately, in the late 70s and early 80s, the Auto View was saddled with the stigma of being a rowdy beer party destination, and it was extremely important to the new owners that the Auto View return to its family.